we're going to look at how you can use scatter plots in Excel to show a correlation. So first of all, I've got my data over here. Um, I'm just going to highlight my data and go to insert, scatter and pick the first scatter plot. So you can see this scatter plot before I've done anything to it, it looks like there's a positive correlation here. Now to add a trend line or line of best fit if you prefer, I go to right click on one of the dots and then add trend line. Over here it's come up with some options, I'm going to stick with a linear trend line for this and I'm going to ask it to show me the equation for that line and I'm going to show the R squared value. So I can just move this around, I might just put this somewhere over here. This is really good because uh, the R squared is showing 0.82, that's really good. One is a perfect correlation. So this has got a very strong correlation showing here or a strong correlation. Here is the equation of the line in um, intercept slope format. So um, currently it's saying y equals blah 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 x take blah blah blah. That means if I put in a value of x which is the things on this x-axis, the number of bananas eaten per day, I could work out how many times that um, you know a person would hoot per day. So I'm going to show you how I can actually use this. I'm just going to highlight that um, equation there so I get the numbers right. Control C to copy and I'm just going to paste it over here. Control V. Now I can um, I can actually turn this straight into an equation by um, getting rid of y over here and just putting the equal sign in. As you know an equation in Excel starts with equals and in this equation in algebra you know when you've got a number in front of a letter it means multiply but Excel doesn't know that so I need to tell it to multiply and the asterisk is the multiplication um, operator here. So if I hit enter nothing will happen. This is name, okay. I have to tell it what value of x I want to put in. So let's say, um, I don't know here, so there's no data for 12 bananas a day. So when you don't actually have any data in that section and you want to find out what the y value is or number of hooting sounds, this is called interpolation. So I'm going to say, okay, what if there were 12 bananas eaten per day? Put 12 in there. And when I hit enter, it says that there's going to be approximately six times it's going to hoot. And you can see the line just sort of goes through around about at six. So that works um, just for one value, but if you want to automate this and try out a few different variables, what you can do is we can get this and instead of putting a number there, let's tell it to look at the cell next to it. Let's tell it to look at the cell here. Okay, so if I hit enter right now, there's nothing in that cell. So it's going to be 0 0.5232 times nothing. Take 0 0.2918. What do you think is going to appear when I hit enter? Yeah, just the minus nine, uh, 2.918. Now I can put in the, any value I like here and it'll work out um, what my Y value would be. So for example, I'll put in um, six. I'll put six in there. It's saying that if you had six bananas, then there would be approximately uh, 2.89 hoots. Uh, if I put in 15 down here and 20 and wow, what if someone had 30 bananas in a day? I can make it calculate it for all those by copying the equation down by dragging in the bottom right corner, drag it right down, and boom, got it. Okay, so if you eat 30 bananas a day, chances are you're going to hoot 15 and a half times on average. Right, so when you do that, and this number here is way off the x-axis here, that's called extrapolation. I'm moving the trend line, or I'm moving the graph beyond what can actually be seen here. If I want to see that in a graphical way, I can right-click on my trend line and format it, and I can tell it to forecast ahead. So if I say look ahead another 15 points, you can see my graph has changed a bit. I've got all the dots that look like they're down here now because my scale has changed to accommodate that line. And so you could then visually look at it and go, okay, well 30 bananas, yeah, that's 15 and a bit hoots per day. So I hope that's been of help.